Hi, my name is Christina Walker, and this is the Christina Walker Best Complete Game video series where I offer an honest look at my AAU games during the evaluation period, which starts in seventh grade and runs through high school. My first showcase event was in March, just outside of Atlanta, where my seventh grade AAU team competed in an eighth grade turn. I must admit to feeling a little bit nervous, but relaxed after coming up with still early on defense. On offense, I went to be in attack mode early in the game. On my first drive, I got to the right side of the basket, just couldn't finish. Next time down, I went to the left and found success. Lining up for free throws down low, most of the girls are taller than me, so I like to use a spin move to get the inside position for offensive rebounds. Free throws continue to be a work in progress for me, even though I was the free throw shooting skills finalist at Nationals last year. When I'm at the line, first and foremost, I want to get the ball up and over the rim. I also want to have a good rotation of the ball so it catches the rim. After the shot, I want to make sure to pose and maintain good shooting. Here, I was able to get this long rebound and start my momentum on a path of attacking my opponent's basket. On this move, I was a little out of control while trying to pass the ball to my teammate Deja. Here I snare another rebound. I finish with seven on the day. Playing between two players, I'm chopping out, putting hands in the face, and boxing out. Once again, attack mode to the left. There's little contact, but I see now at this level, they don't really call any tic-tac fouls. Later, my opponent presses up on me, but I can go either left or right and waste no time blowing past them on the left. My first outside look for the day was a little bit long. I'm on the attack again, this time to the right. The defenders do a nice job of cutting me off in the lane. A few plays later, I would get another open look from beyond the arc, same spot, and this time I knocked it down. On the defensive side, real active this game as I had a couple of steals as well as a few tie-ups for jump balls. On my baseline move to the basket, the defender knocked the ball out of bounds to set up one of my favorite plays, the out of bounds play. I think you should always be able to score. I simply throw the ball where they aren't looking to my teammate cutting to the hoop. During this free throw, I'm trying to set up our defense for after Jordan's free throw. I don't get the offensive rebound this time with my spin move, but I'm still able to stick with the play and force a jump ball. In fact, I force up another tie up the next time down the floor. After getting a breather, I immediately shift back into attack mode with the spin moves, attempts, and tracks. Never discouraged, attack number 10 to the basket goes in. My teammates were looking for me around the perimeter as Genesis does a nice job finding me behind the three-point line. And by the way, that's not my dad doing all the yelling in the background, but I appreciate the support. And on the last couple of possessions, I grabbed a couple of rebounds to help our team to a nine-point victory as we finish the tournament in third place. Not too bad for playing up the game. Be sure to check out future videos on my Christina Walker Best Complete Game Highlight Series where I show the good and the bad highlights so I can offer an honest evaluation of my game to those who want to see and know. See you next time on Christina Girl Hoops TV.